What did the elephant ask the naked man? How do you breathe out of that thing? Today, I'm going to recap a 2016 action comedy film called Free Fire. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Boston, 1978. Two brothers, Stevo and Bernie, are driving a truck on the way to meet with some guys. Stevo tells Bernie about a fight he got into with another guy the previous night due to an altercation with the other guy's cousin. Waiting for them outside the warehouse are IRA guys Chris, Frank, and their mediator Justine. Before the brothers show up, Chris asks Justine if she's FBI. She says she's IFM, in it for myself. The brothers arrive and meet with Chris and Frank while Justine waits in the car. They are all met by Ord, a rep for the arms dealer they are about to do business with. Ord makes some smartest comments to the other guys, before bringing them inside the warehouse. The buyers meet with the dealer, Vernon, and his right-hand man, Martin. They are joined by other associates, Harry and Gordon. Vernon greets Justine and compliments her before saying she put on weight. He then presents Chris with assault rifles. Chris points out that the order was incorrect, as he ordered M16s but received AR-17s. Vernon is not happy with how this is going, but Chris and Frank decide to take the weapons anyway and hand over their money in a briefcase. As the transaction happens, Chris tries to invite Justine out to dinner in front of the other guys. Justine appears disinterested in the offer. Steve-O recognizes Harry as the guy who beat him up the previous night. He tries to avoid Harry, but Harry spots Steve-O and immediately flips out. He tells everyone that Steve-O tried to coerce Harry's cousin into a sexual act, and then smashed a bottle over her face when she refused, prompting Harry to react violently. Frank takes Steve-O aside and starts smacking him for what he did and then demands that he apologize to Harry. Steve-O starts to apologize but then starts mocking Harry's cousin. Harry goes to his car and takes out a gun, which he uses to shoot Steve-O in the shoulder. The groups then run in opposite directions and begin shooting at each other. Martin gets grazed by a bullet and passes out, leaving the briefcase unsecured. In the midst of the gunfire, two snipers, Jimmy and Howie, begin shooting at the buyers, although nobody knows where the extra gunfire is coming from. Jimmy gets shot and slowly dies, while Bernie gets up and gets shot in the back by Vernon until he dies. Stevo breaks down and rushes to his brother's side, swearing vengeance on his killer. Howe then speaks up, and Ord recognizes his voice. Before Howe can tell Ord who sent him, he gets shot dead by someone in the warehouse. Vernon still wants to try and nab the briefcase. Chris requests that Vernon lay his guys off Justine. She tries to make her way to the briefcase, but she is being followed by Gordon. Justine also ends up getting shot in the leg by Harry, and she ends up shooting him back in retaliation. The guys continue to shoot at each other. Somewhere in the warehouse, a phone starts ringing. Frank tries to go after the phone so he can call for backup. Vernon follows him as the shooting continues. Gordon attempts to kill Justine, but she manages to take him down first. Justine then slowly passes out from blood loss. Frank and Vernon try to make it up to the room with the phone. Vernon starts going after Frank. Frank locks himself in a room and pours kerosene on the floor and making it spill out. As Vernon gets close, Frank ignites the fluid and sets Vernon on fire. Vernon manages to extinguish the flames and kill Frank. As the shooting continues, Martin manages to regain consciousness. It turns out Jimmy and Howie were sent by him to get the money on their own. Martin engages in the shootout, but he soon dies from his earlier wound. Chris makes it upstairs and finds Vernon slumped against the wall. Vernon tries to talk Chris down, but Chris shoots Vernon in the face. Chris makes it to the room with the phone and starts to call for backup. The phone gets cut off by Ord. Meanwhile, Harry and Steve-O are still going at each other. Chris's IRA associate Leary arrives at the warehouse. He encounters Harry and starts fighting with him. Harry gains the upper hand and beats Leary to death with a crowbar. Harry grabs the briefcase and hops into his van. Steve-O continues shooting at him as he lies on the ground. Harry drives the van over Steve-O's head, but Steve-O manages to shoot Harry through the ass, killing him and causing him to crash the van. The fire that caught Vernon earlier sets off sprinklers. Chris and Ward are left standing. Chris takes the briefcase out of Harry's van. He and Ward decide to just call a truce before the cops show up. Suddenly a bullet goes through Ward's head and Chris's chest. Justine is still standing, and she takes the briefcase. As Chris is slowly dying, he expresses regret over not getting to take Justine out to dinner. 
She agrees and leaves him. She walks to the front of the warehouse using a rifle as a crutch. Then the police show up. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy hit the like button. And if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice just to be sure. You should watch the full movie. Thank you very much for watching.